So another quick video to look at the new virtual DJ 2021 with its stem separation and how that works on three different laptops. Now we all know that this new technology takes its toll on laptops, uh, especially if they're not designed for this kind of thing. So I've set up three Dell laptops. They're all fairly new within the last couple of years. And the first one over here is a, a home use laptop, if you will, an entry level. It's about $500 if you buy it. And it has an i it's i5 uh, CPU based. Over here, we have a business laptop. That's actually my work laptop that has a Xeon technology in it. So a much better CPU with lots of cores and it costs about $3,000. And over here, we have a thousand dollar laptop. That's also i5 based, um, but it has the label that it's a gamer laptop. So we'll get back to that. So what happens if I lower the track? Well, if you've probably seen, they're all set to, to automatic, automatic in the math engine, the new math engine settings. So virtual can do whatever it wants with it. So if I load a track over here, I'm gonna load the same track on all three laptops. So it could be any track, but I'll load this. You can see the separation working after the load, and it takes a few seconds before it's done on this i5 machine. Uh, entry level $500 laptop. Uh, I load the same trap on the very expensive $3,000 laptops over here, but it's for business use, so not for gaming use. So I load that here. And you can see it's maybe a little bit faster, but not a lot. So the $3,000 didn't really help here when it comes to Virtual DJ and the new Stems separation engine. Then I move over to the $1,000 laptop over here. And I load the same track once more. And you can look at it again. See, it's almost instant. And this is a $1,000 laptop. So why is that so much better than a $3,000 laptop? Well, let's just look at these two, because this is a weird part, right? Well, if I go into system settings here, uh, you can see that this is a Xeon-based laptop, like I said. But if I go down to the display, you can see it actually has an NVIDIA graphic card, but it's a Quattro. M62, so it's not really meant for gaming. And the GPU on it is not really usable for anything like that. The GPU handles all the parallel processing that the AI, machine learning, that the new separation really loves, uh, doesn't help with that. So actually, Virtual DJ simply doesn't use it. So if I go into here, and I go into settings, and into math, math, to find a new setting, and try to select the GPU, It's not good enough. Doesn't support accelerated math. So that won't work. So I have to go back to automatic or CPU, which is what I'm gonna end up with anyway here, CPU. But if I go over here to the gaming laptop and I first go into the system configuration, you can actually see up here, sorry, up here, that it's only an i5 based CPU. So it's a pretty cheap gaming laptop at $1,000. But if I go back down, down to display, you can see it has a GeForce GTX 1650. That's not a great uh, GPU on that anymore. It's not a great GeForce at this point in time, but it's still a GPU and it's still fast enough with the parallel processing to help Virtual DJ quite a lot. So it actually uses this GPU. So that's why it's so fast, even though it's a much cheaper laptop. So if I go into math settings here, and turn this away from automatic, and over to CPU, you can see that if I reload the track, here, it's just as slow as the others. So it is the GPU that's helping. And you can also see that because if I actually go in to the math again and select the GPU here, it lets me do it. It says, yes, that's fine. I want to use this stuff. So if I then reload the track third time here, same track, then we're back to fast, almost instant. So that's the big difference. 
So we have the cheap laptop for home use. We have the expensive $3,000 laptop here, but that's for business use. And we have the cheap gamer laptop over here, $1,000. And that's actually a lot better for this kind of stuff than a very expensive business laptop. So I think this actually, this actually illustrates that we are having a change here where the, the, the big expensive business laptops are not good for DJing anymore with this kind of technology. And I assume we're gonna see a whole lot more, more of this AI kind of technology in DJ software, especially in virtual DJ, of course, in the future. So we're probably moving to one towards wanting to buy gamer laptops, even if they're pretty cheap, for running our, our DJ software, our virtual DJ in the future. I'll include the more exact specs of these three laptops in the in the video description. Okay.